Hello, this is Albert. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I will be showing you how to do what is called a draw cut. And we will be using, of course, a Chinese cleaver and a very, very, very overly ripe Roma tomato. Now, um, whenever I deal with any fruits or vegetables, if it's round or semi-round, I usually like to bifurcate and place the flat side on the cutting board so it doesn't roll around. For those of you who don't know what bifurcate means, bifurcate means public education doesn't work. So, no, actually, I'm just kidding. Um, bifurcate means to split something in half. So, with the Roma tomato, we're going to go ahead and uh, bifurcate it first, place the flat side down, and then go ahead and cut it. Now, um, tomatoes are one of the most difficult things to cut, in my opinion, because it's so soft. And so, today we'll be using a skill called draw cut. Um, now, the prerequisite to doing a draw cut is having a very, very, very sharp knife, as we'll see. So first, let me go ahead and cut the tomato. And as you can see, there's actually not a single drop of water on the cutting board, and that's the way it should be. Um, if your knife is sharp enough, there should not be any liquid on your cutting board, and that's the key. You want to keep as much liquid in the fruit or vegetable in and of itself, rather than on the cutting board. Now just a quick review. A draw cut is basically I'm going to draw the knife across and don't think of it as cutting the food. Think of it as I'm drawing the knife across the cutting board and the food happens to be in the way. And we're just going to go ahead and bite. <coughs> bypass the um, food with a um, cross-sectional cut against the uh, tomato itself. So again, we don't want it on this the round side because it moves around. We want the um, flat side facing down. So as you'll see I am going to draw with my hand knife pressed against my hand and you can see that um, and I'm just going to go ahead and draw and if your knife is sufficiently sharp the tomato in and of itself should not move. So we'll go ahead and do a draw cut here. And as you can see after I draw I circle around and draw again, and draw again, and draw again, and draw again. Now, <clears throat> you can see there's almost no fluid whatsoever on the board itself, and um, with the draw cut, the nice even cuts all the way across. And why, again, why I prefer the Chinese knives? Because after the draw cut, I can go ahead and um, place it on the um, knife and move it to whatever bowl or situation um, I want to move it to. And so I will go ahead and uh, cross-section the second half of the tomato. Again with a draw cut. And as you can see, the knife does all the work. I am pulling very slowly, but there's absolutely no need to actually put pressure because as you draw, like I said, the knife is moving but the um, tomato just happens to get in the way, is how I think of it. And as you can see, there's almost no fluid on the um, cutting board, and that's the way it should be. Your water should be in the tomato, not on your cutting board. So that was basically a draw cut. 